Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another hair tutorial for you guys and this is the hair look that I'm doing. So this hairstyle was very much 90s inspired. I was also inspired after seeing Kylie Jenner posted a picture on her Instagram and it was like of this half up, half down hair flip hairstyle and I freaking loved it so I had to create this wig right here so if you guys want to see how I create this and I styled it then please continue to watch this video all right so let's get started on this wig and the hair that I'm using today it's by Nadula hair I'm using their 16 inches straight hair and a frontal to make this wig all the hair info will be in the description bar down below like always okay so first things first we are going to bleach the knots on our frontal and we're going to be using the salon care prism lights and the salon care number 30 volume cream developer so we're going to go ahead and pour that powder lightener into that mixing bowl and pour that developer into the bowl as well and mix it up together you want it to have a very thick consistency very thick we don't want it to be runny and then we're gonna go in and we're just going to apply that all over the frontal the reason why we bleached the knot on the frontal is because we want that frontal to look as natural as possible we want it to look like when we put this wig on it is literally coming out of our scalp okay because you, can you see the little knots on the frontal if you don't bleach it it's not gonna look natural so you gotta bleach it now I left this on for about half an hour and then I'm gonna go off camera, wash it out real quick, and look at her. She's looking a lot better, you guys. However, the lace on this does need some tinting, so we're gonna get to that a little later on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tweeze. So we're gonna go ahead and do some tweezing. Reason why we do some tweezing is because we want that hairline to look natural as well. So even though this is a pre-pluck frontal, most pre-pluck frontals, they do require a bit of tweezing, or else they're not gonna look natural. The hairline's gonna look crazy, it's not gonna look natural. It's gonna look very wiggy. And to tweeze the frontal, I go behind the hairline. So I part it with my comb and I go behind the hairline. Try not to tweeze the same spots over and over or else you're gonna end up with bald spots and you do not wanna end up with bald spots, trust me. Your wig will look edgeless, okay? So it's not gonna look cute. So just go behind the hairline, take your time with it. I really didn't have to tweeze this for very long. I think I did it for about five minutes and she looked pretty good, okay? Like she looked pretty natural. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tint this lace because as you can see, the lace does not match my skin. If I put this on my head, it's not gonna look right. So I'm gonna use the Wig Guru's uh, Lace Tinter and I'm going to apply this all over the lace. And the shade that I use is in Pure Beige. So I'm just gonna apply this and then go in with my blow dryer. This will help my wig to look more natural when I do apply it. The lace tint that I use is in the shade Pure Beige, but they do have other shades for deeper skin tone as well. So it will make your wig look a lot more natural if you tint the lace. You can also use makeup to do so, but I prefer to use this product. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start making my wigs. You guys have seen me make my wigs so many times on camera. So I'm just gonna speed up this part I do have detailed videos of making wigs. I'll link it in the description bar down below. So my wig is all done. This is how she is looking. It's about 16 inches. I know I want it to be a lot shorter. So I'm going to go in with my scissors and chop away you guys so i do want it to be like shoulder length hair and guys when i cut it i was literally panicking on the inside but you guys don't know that you can't tell that i'm panicking because i was just like oh snap did i cut this too short is this how short i want it to be but i had to keep going so i went ahead and i cut the other side and the back everything's already cut so that is it for the cutting and i'm gonna go ahead and start styling this wig so I already straightened the hair with my flat iron, but you guys already know how to straighten hair, right? It's super easy. And I did add some hair serum, and hi Simba, always up in everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my curling iron, and this one is by Ion. I will link the curling iron in the description bar down below. So I'm just gonna grab sections of hair, and I'm just going to curl it, flip the hair. So you wanna make sure you are curling the hair away from the face. Well, this is on a mannequin head. And we're just gonna, Instead of curling the hair under, we're gonna curl it outwards. And I'm gonna go in with some hairspray as well, just to make sure that these curls are held and they are 
not going anywhere. I'm not gonna add too much hairspray because I still want the hair to be able to move. The style is actually really simple, really easy to achieve. Like it's not hard at all, I promise you, okay? Because I'm not the best when it comes to curling and styling. Like look at her stiff wear. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's really easy to achieve and it's straight from the 90s. I actually used to wear my hair like this in high school. I used to curl my hair like this. It's called a flip. Is that what you guys call it nowadays? But back in the day, that's what we used to call it, a flip. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl the rest of the hair and speed it up a little bit because this part is very, very repetitive. And guys, I don't know if you noticed the color of the hair. I did bleach the frontal by accident, so some of the bleach actually got on the hair. So you might be noticing some lighter pieces, but I was not mad at it. It looked cute, so I don't know. So I'm all done curling this hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I did the half up, half down as well when I do have the wig on. So I went ahead and applied the wig off camera. I do have very, very detailed videos on how I apply my wig and how I cut my lace. Nothing's changed, but I'm probably gonna do another video with wig application very soon, but nothing's really changed. I'm using the same technique and method. So I'm just gonna go in with my hot comb. You guys see me using this hot comb like all the time. I believe the brand is called Anne and I got it on Amazon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take out some tiny little baby hairs and just use my little razor and cut them. I don't like my baby hairs to look too much unnatural. So I like to keep it really small and I just applied some hairspray onto that toothbrush looking thing but it's really a edge brush so I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to create little tiny baby hairs I am NOT the greatest at this I always say that but I'm really not but I like to keep them as natural as possible so I'm just gonna take out a little bit more on the sides not too much baby yeah so it's really just a preference thing um, if you prefer not to do any baby hair whatsoever you can go ahead and do so or if you want to keep them really small and natural that's also fine if you want them thicker do you boo do whatever you want to do so yeah I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well and I'm gonna go in with some hair mousse and I'm going to apply that on the top of my wig just to make it look nice and flat and laid okay she needs to be laid so she doesn't look bulky and wiggy so guys, I hate saying this, but this is probably one of my favorite wigs I've ever made. The reason why I hate saying this is because I feel the same way about every time I make a wig, but I really, really love this one. It's so cute and it just gives me 90s vibes. I mean, I'm so here for anything 90s. I grew up in the 90s, so I'm here for it. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks, but now I'm gonna show you guys how I do half up, half down. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that hot comb. Be very careful, don't burn yourself, girl, okay? You don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more mousse just to get the hair out of the way and have it looking nice and sleek. So we gotta get the hair nice and sleek because we're about to put this in a high ponytail. So grab your brush and start brushing it upwards and make sure you have no flyaways at all either because we don't want the ponytail to look messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my comb and go in with my comb and my brush and brush it upwards. And then I'm gonna take a elastic, so a hair elastic and preferably black, but I didn't have a black one. I had a blue one, but it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping the elastic around the hair. All right, so the ponytail, ponytail is snatched and secure. She's not going nowhere. So I'm gonna take out a piece of hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that around the elastic to hide it because we don't wanna see it. And then I'm gonna put some bobby pins just to secure the hair as well. So I'm gonna go back in with my curling iron and I started flipping my the ends of the hair, but I wasn't feeling it. So I went ahead and I curled it under because I thought it looked better like this. So yeah, this is pretty much the look. This is the completed look. And I want to show you guys what the back looks like, of course, because I actually got some comments, um, someone saying that they never see the back of the high ponytail on the wig. So I had to let you guys see it. You cannot see any tracks or whatsoever. It's hidden. So yeah, this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoy this hair tutorial and comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next i'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel